visitors who wish to delve deeper into the cultural universe of the Thais, have a great opportunity to do so through the story of Prince Praram, a legend narrated in the Ramakeen, the most important work of classical Thai literature. The text is an adaptation of the Indian Ramayana, an epic poem predating the Christian era, comparable to Homer's Iliad. In India, it remains very popular today, and its recitation is considered an act of great merit. Its protagonist, Prince Rama, is believed to be an avatar of the supreme protector Vishnu. In the Ramakeen epic, the story of Prince Praram is told as he struggles to recover his rightful wife, Sida, who was kidnapped in the forest by the demon King Tosakan. Previously, the prince had been removed from the rightful line of succession due to palace intrigues, and was forced to live in exile for fourteen years. The power of the Ramakeen is best understood, when we consider that humans love to think about themselves through stories. It is through these that we find our place in the world and shape our society. Moreover, these narratives later form a significant part of our personal beliefs and customs, motivating us to action. The great mythical tales are a fundamental part of the sacred history of peoples. On the way to Lanka, where Princess Sida remains captive, the qualities and temperaments of the various characters will be tested in their struggle against Tosa Khan's supporters. Prince Prayer Ram himself will have multiple opportunities to demonstrate the virtues of the ideal king, such as a sense of justice, loyalty, and compassion. In the different episodes, both human and mythical beings appear, such as Hanuman, the general of an army of monkeys, a loyal and brave ally of Prayer Ram, who plays a prominent role in the Thai version. Let's look at an example, a bad omen. The following scene, which you can view on your mobile phone, shows Tosa Khan listening to his younger brother, Kafik. Tosa Khan is the character with ten arms. Shortly before, they were sleeping, and Tosa Khan had a bad dream, so he asked Pafik for help in understanding its meaning. In the dream, two vultures appear, one white and the other black. The first one defeats the second. A bad omen. The problem is that a bad omen before battle is the worst news, in fact, it's already half a defeat. Since Pifik cannot dispel such bad luck, Tosakan becomes enraged and exiles him, taking away all his possessions. A very unjust response for someone who has only shown honesty and loyalty. Walking towards exile, Pifik is arrested and brought before Praram. After listening carefully to what happened and appreciating Pifik's honesty, Praram welcomes him into his own army. At the end of the story, Pifik will govern the kingdom of Lanka after Tosa Khan is defeated and killed, a new and just king. Throughout the narrative, the behaviors displayed by each character are highly significant, but there is more. It is likely that the Thai inclination to visit Brahmin priests, mediums, and fortune tellers to determine the most favorable time to start new projects, as well as to perform propitiatory ceremonies, is related to passages like this one.